The most productive of all of the millets is going to be this one right here. This is hybrid pearl millet and it's a true hybrid. They do a male female cross and so because of that hybrid vigor and because of some other characteristics of this plant it's going to have far more yield potential than any of the other millets in good conditions. Yeah. If you've got tough conditions, some of the other ones may do just as well at less money because this is a more expensive seed being a hybrid. But hybrid pearl millet, uh, we really like in the more productive areas because of its potential to produce higher end yields. And it's got really good regrowth as well. Dale, tell us a little bit more about hybrid pearl millet. Well, and I'll speak a little bit specifically to the tiff leaf three, uh, which is a dwarf pearl millet. And the dwarf gene uh, conveys the same advantages that we have in our dwarf sorghum sedan. It, it shortens the inner nodes. You get more leaf, just as many leaves, if not more. So you get a very leafy plant. And because the growing points are down low, you keep getting flushes of regrowth. The animals aren't removing all the growing points with, with each grazing. So you just keep getting leaf after leaf after leaf. And so even though it doesn't get as tall as some of the, the old standard pearl millets we used to have, the realized yield in a grazing situation is so much better. And if cut for hay, the leafiness of this product is, is exceptional. Uh, when you compare pearl millet to sorghum sedan grass, uh, there are a couple of advantages and disadvantages. One is that the yield is not usually as good as sorghum sedan in good conditions. But there are some places where millet excel, where pearl millet excels and will exceed sorghum sedan. One is where there's iron chlorosis. Uh, if you have iron deficiency, high pH soils, millet will do definitely better than sorghum sedan. Another one's on very sandy soils. Pearl millet seems to tolerate sand better than sorghum sedan. One, another drawback, other than yield though, is once this freezes out, nothing wants to eat it. It has very poor quality after frost strikes it. Yeah, so great grazing during the growing season. Don't put it in your winter stockpile mixes. Another thing that I've always liked about the pearl millet, it tillers really well. So this is just an example here of one seed, but I've got all these different tillers and in areas where maybe you don't have a great stand of other things, I've seen this thing just, just become a bush yeah. and really, really uh, give a lot of growth in that area. And, and the other thing, you know, if you are grazing and it, the frost hits, pearl millet is not gonna generate yeah, prussic, prussic acid. acid. So a lot of times we'll like using a pearl millet based mix in at least part of a field so that when it freezes, you just shut the cattle in that area, let them eat this, while the prussic acid dissipates from your sorghum based. Right, yeah, have, just have a small area, have it fenced separately. So if you're at a risk of frost, you, you don't have to load up the cattle on a trailer. You can just shuttle them over, open a gate, let them into that area without sorghum or sorghum sedation.